All right, I want to talk about some really important stuff. Um, I have a quote here you're going to you see up on the screen by Ivan Balabanov. Um, I'm going to I'm going to talk about people are asking me that you know they see my stuff and they see the the aggressive dogs a lot of them pit bulls um, that were seriously aggressive to dogs and I've gotten them okay with dogs playing with dogs and you see them in, in my pack you see them in in the field no no leash in a in a relatively short time um, and I'm going to talk about that because I'm getting a lot of me messages, especially from trainers who want me to tell them what I do. And, um, and you might hear my dogs in the background. You can see them. They're all, they're all here. They're all all over the place. Um, but a lot, a lot of them are asking me what, what I do and they want like a step-by-step -step plan. And, um, when you say something like that, it tells me you really don't understand this stuff. Um, there's no step-by-step -step plan. All of these dogs are really individual. And, um, you, you know, you have to understand fundamentals. And the fundamentals are applied to each dog individually. Um, I'll get into that. But, you know, I, I, I kind of want to get to this Ivan thing here because I – He's ar arguably the best dog tr trainer in the world. Um, I, I personally think, I think he is, of course. Um, and I've gotten, I've gotten to um, spend some time with with him. And um, the the biggest thing I've gotten from him is how much I don't know. And and I think the big thing is. You know, you have to be smart enough when you see somebody like Ivan and you hear him speak and stuff, you have to be smart enough to understand how good he is and what you really don't, what you really don't know. Um, but last night he, he was on live and interviewed and um, some of the things he said, it's, it's brilliant, you know, and, and, and it's really different from what's out there. And when people ask me what I'm doing with these with these pit bulls, and they want me to explain it to to them, um, it's a long story for one, and they the, they don't understand it be, because it's it's so different from what they do. Um, they've been trained in classical conditioning, opera conditioning, and and they've been trained in that box. And there's such a bigger world out there than what's than what's in that box. And a lot of times I'm operating outside of that box. Um, Ivan said last last night, um, he said a whole bunch of things, but w one of the things that, that he said was, we have a lot of genes of instincts to tap into and wake him up and use them. And if you don't do that as a trainer, you are stuck in reinforcing behaviors. He went on to say, uh, you learn how to control and guide. There, there is nothing really to teach. You just learn how to control and guide. Um, and there's a lot more there, but um, that really struck home for me because with these with these pit bulls, um, you have to understand the dog you have in front of you. And there's instincts, and like you said, um, you can you can tap into their instincts and you can control and guide them, or you can just start to try to reinforce and punish behaviors. Um, and I really, for years have, have been tapping into the pit bulls instincts. Um, and that's how, and I control and guide them and that's, and, and that's how it's done. Um, you have to understand that, pit bulls were they were bred specifically to to fight dogs um if you don't think that's true you don't know the history but they were um so there's so there's a a genetic um drive there to to want to fight but that's not the only drive um they also have i'm watching my dogs here too they also have other drives and they have drives, they have drives to play. Um, and with Ivan's stuff, it, it, it's so based on play in his game. And it's a very specific 
game. It's 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 unique the way he teaches it. It's different than 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 what's out there. And um, so what I'm looking at this picture here is 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 I get this dog that you know has these natural instincts and and when they come to me usually the fight instinct has been the one that's been expressed has been the one that's been allowed to be expressed that's the one that's been um um awoken most of the time because they're getting into fights um and a lot of a lot of the dogs naturally it it wakes up in them they they see dogs and and they weren't handled correctly and and then they go into that fight that fight mode um or the, they live in a house that's chaotic, okay? And there's and those seeds of that fight are there. Um, and some some of them just really want to, they want to fight. And we can get, we can get into nature, the nurture ar argument and stuff too. But um, there's definitely a genetic propensity there for them to get into fights. There's also, like I said, genetics to play. So 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 there's two paths there. So. I start two things. I start controlling their their desire to fight. They're not allowed to fight. And I start waking up the instincts to play. Um and and the more you control the urge to fight and you wake up the the urge the instinct to play, at some point the two are going to converge and 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 when when you show these dogs, um, when you stop the fighting, and 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 then the play is an option, the dogs start to enjoy it, and and they start to choose it. Okay, um, of course, not all dogs are are going to be the same, um, and some of them take take a lot more work. But I've said in in the past that I that I have to teach these dogs to play, and, and that's really incorrect. I don't. Um, what I mean by that is I have to stop stop them from fighting, so that they give the play an opportunity, and it's and and, and those play genetics are woken up. Um, and when that happens, it's magical. And if you've been wa watching me, you you know you know how many dogs I take in that couldn't be around dogs, and they would fight and this and that. And in a short time, it's usually a period of you know weeks. They're not fighting my dogs, and they're starting to play with them. Dem Dempsey is the last one here that you know I just had. It took four and a half weeks, and he went from wanting to fight the dogs to be able to be around them. And then you saw him start to interact and you, you know, and, and I was there to control and guide every single thing Dempsey did. I was, I was there. So he was not allowed to go into the fight. He was not allowed to do those kinds of things. There was that control and there was the guide. Okay. These are the things you can do. And it opened up that path, that avenue where he started, you could see him start to experiment. And, and I don't know if he's ever played before, you know, a lot, a lot of these dogs, pit bulls and stuff, they, they just, from a young, young age, they started to get, to get into fights and that's, and that's the interaction. That's, that's it. They just fought dogs, but you saw him start to experiment and lay next to the dog and play with the little paw. And, and, and the video I, I posted, um, a few days ago where, where he, you know, that, you know, you, like you didn't see that part of it. Cause that, that was about a ha half an hour in, but he started to, you know, mouth Rosie's paw. And I saw it and I was like, wow, look at this, you know, and she started to do a little mouthing with him and you saw him starting to enjoy it and, and light up. And, and you just saw him, he, he broke into play. And he knew what to do. I didn't teach him that. He knew he knew what to do. He knew that he wasn't supposed to fight. He knew that I wasn't going to let him fight. I I controlled that earlier, a relationship, okay? Um, and now he gave the play a chance, and, man, he loved it. And you could see the video. The, I mean, he just, he, he just plays. It, it's awesome. Oreo, easy. Um so that's a huge thing here is knowing how to control it and knowing how to guide it. Um, it, it it's, 
and that's not a step-by-step -step plan. I mean, you know, these dogs start interacting and, and you have to know what to do. I can't give you a step-by-step -step plan how to go, how to go about this. I can't do it. Um, there is a obedience involved be, be, you know, because I, I need to control every single dog here because they want, you know, these dogs want to, they, you know, they want to fight. So you need control. And if you don't have that obedience and you don't have the control, you can't give them the option to play because they're, they're going to choose to fight right now. That's, that's what they've done. And, and they like it. They have, they have those genetics. They have that instinct to fight and, and they, some of these pit bulls love it. But when you, but like I said, when you, when you can control that and you can stop that and you can give them the option to play and you can wake up the genetics to play. Um, it's amazing how they break into play. Dempsey, the vet thinks is four or five years old. And when we think he's probably never played with dogs ever, maybe since he was a little, a little puppy, you know, um, and he broke into play. T Tyler came to me, um, boarded from the time he was six months old to a year and a half. They kept him away from dogs because um, aggressive to dogs and all kinds of pro problems. So we know from six months to a year, year and a half, he had no contact with dogs whatsoever. I took him and in three days, he was playing with all of my dogs. I just, he was easy. I mean, I mean, I just... I just introduced him the right the right way and he saw the way things worked here and he just broke into play year, a year and a half old that's genes he knew he knew how to play you know so um um I've been said a ton of great stuff and by no means am I comparing myself to Ivan because we're not even on the same universe as far as ability to train train dogs understanding of dogs um i just see the brilliance and and um and i can and, and i can see how it's just so it's it's so true how how you want to take take these dogs and you don't just want to mechanically reinforce behaviors you want to understand dogs and understand what kind of dog you have in front of you and you want to wake up what that dog instinctually instinctually was 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 made to do and you see them get happy and some of those things instinctually can lead to problems like these pit bulls are going to fight but if you control it and guide it it turns into play so some people there's this whole war about genetics and and if the aggression was genetic um you couldn't help it that's not true because you can have many, many different things in these, in these genetics and you can have aggression and you can have play and you can control and guide it from, from fighting, from aggression into play. I do it. Um, so no doubt, no doubt in my, in my mind that, that there's that genetic drive to, to fight, but there's also that genetic drive to play. And, and once they see it, it's eco easy. Once they see it, um, most of them you can walk them down, guide them down that path, and they and they and, and they will play. Um, you just have to know how to do it, and uh, that's that's all I wanted to say today. Watch, um, I posted on my on my wall the interview. Ivan Ivan says some br brilliant stuff as usual. He's different. Um, if you train dogs and you haven't heard him watch it, it's it's not learning classical conditioning, operant conditioning. He's way beyond that. He's he's you know he's talking about stuff that that of course of course he knows that stuff cold. That's why he's he's just on a level that's that's he's doing he's doing things beyond that. Um, it's incredible stuff. So check that out on my on my um on, on my Facebook page, and um if you get a chance, study with him. He's uh he's incredible.